Before we begin today's episode, I want to share with you some new picks from Clocks and Colors, which, side note, goes really well with the topic of today's video. Their jewelry looks awesome with the suits we will be looking at today. But I did pick up some new items here I want to share with you. I picked up two items this time, the North Star Necklace in Sterling Silver, which I have to say I love the detail in this pendant. This is something this brand is known for, of course. They're just incredible detail and design. I think they really nailed this piece, and in keeping up with the theme, I also got the the Polaris ring, but with this one, I opted for the brass inlay. I thought this was a nice change of pace for it, a little splash of color, and I'm really glad I made that choice because I absolutely love this ring. I think it's awesome. It's really well designed and nicely proportioned, but it's also got this signet ring type vibe going on as well, and really combining this with the necklace and then with the suits, you know, everything just works. It, it just definitely works. As I said a million times in the past too, I'm not paid by this brand. I've just been a fan of them for years, and I just love what they're doing, so that's why I showcase them and, and pick things up regularly. And if you want to pick up these or anything on their site, just check the link in the description. Now, though, on to today's episode. What is happening, guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going back to the land where the suits are on the house or the house burns down. You know what I'm talking about, the land of sharp haircuts and even sharper hats. Yes, we're talking about Peaky Blinders and how you can achieve their classic style. Now, I want to start with saying this has probably been my most requested video, which really surprises me, honestly, out of all the stuff that I've made. But, you know, that's sometimes how YouTube works. I want to also start by saying that we have already done a few videos on this subject, but some of you were having issues with actually buying the pieces that I was showing in those videos, which I know is super annoying. So what I've been doing in the background is I've been trying to find a new site to partner with so we can do more of these videos and give you guys a good place to go to get these awesome suits and that site is happy gentlemen and that's the site that we're going to be using today to create the look that we're going after and speaking of that look I figured since we're kind of restarting this whole thing that we should start with a classic fan favorite Mr. Tommy Shelby now, and before we get too far I do want to also say that I've heard your requests I am currently working on two more videos after this to recreate two more looks including this one from Michael Gray a pinstriped one that was specifically requested and then one of my personal favorites Alfie Song Solomons. So be on the lookout for these two videos. They are coming soon. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you can see those right when they come out. Today though we are going to be doing a Tommy Shelby inspired look. The main part of this of course is the suit. That's the main piece of the look. You know this looks to me to be charcoal. It's a, it's of course a, a tweed suit. Most Mostly all of them are tweed suits but this one here appears to be kind of a charcoal color to me. Something in that realm. And in looking at the Happy Gentleman site I was able to find a suit that I think matches it pretty closely. It is a charcoal tweed suit it's got some different things going on there but it's it's kind of in the same realm and all i'm doing is ordering my usual size moving back over to the photo now though we have a standard white shirt that's underneath the suit there, just a standard white shirt. And he's got kind of a striped tie going on there, which is nice because it's got a bit of color in there. For the shirt, you do have some options. You can find one, of course, on the same website. They've got a bunch of different shirt options, actually. You can get one with the removable collar if you want to go that route, which is super nice. Or honestly, for this, you can go with pretty much any white shirt that you have. That's kind of what I'm doing, I'm using my own white shirt for this one. For the tie, though, they didn't actually have one on the site that really matched this one or was even pretty close. But that being said, this isn't really a rare color pattern for ties, so you can pretty much find one that looks like this anywhere. But having all that taken care of, that pretty much just leaves us with the overcoat, which is actually my favorite part of the look. I love how it has the dark accents on the collar there, so I had to get that. And I actually found one that was very similar on the Happy Gentleman website. You can see it's got the same accents. I mean, it's actually very close to the original jacket there, so I was super excited for this one. Lastly now, though, we just have the little bits like the accessories. And when it comes to those, I like to add in my own bit of flair and kind of infuse my own taste into the accessory department. So I got that covered here with some chains that I've used in the past, some of my own personal collection, and, and some things like rings. You know, we just talked about clocks and colors, for example. I like to use some of my own things to really infuse my individual personality into the look. But now that we've gone through all that, there's really nothing left to do but to put it all together and see how it looks.
All right, now that we've seen it all and put it all together, I want to answer some of your questions here. I get asked almost every time I do one of these about the quality of the suit, and I'm going to be straight up. These are not top-of-the-line suits, and they're really not advertised as such. Nobody's claiming them to be top-of-the-line suits, but I want to mention that they're not bottom-of-the-barrel either. You know, they are a little thin, especially the overcoat. I noticed the overcoat was a little bit thin, but it's not so thin that it's laughable. You know, I would have no problem wearing this to a wedding or a formal event. Honestly, I really wouldn't. And really, in my opinion, these are perfect, like, middle ground brown suits you know they're not bottom of the barrel but they're not top of the line either they're just like perfectly you know affordable middle ground suit items i want to add that also for the sizing i ordered my standard suit size again i ordered the, the jacket in 42r that's just what i always get when, even when i'm buying a suit off the rack that's the same size there and the pants they actually came unhemmed of course as they usually do in a waist size 36 which is a little bit big my waist size is a 34 so if i was going to wear these to an event or something like that i would have to have it tailored and taken in here and there which is actually what i would prefer to do for a more customized fit with the entire suit not just the pants but as far as quality of the suit goes i would say of course they are perfect for those peaky blinder parties and things like that i think they really look the part i love the look of them and everything that you know you can piece everything together to just create that look that you want to achieve i just i think it's so much fun collecting the items and then seeing the overall look it's a lot of fun one last thing too about the overcoat you guys have asked a lot in the past if the overcoat comes down to my knees or if it's short this one here as you can see it does come down to my knees which is a good length and one that's accurate I think to this show too I know you guys have been looking some of you in the comment section have been looking for a long overcoat so I think this one fits the bill it looks great it's got the accents and then I think it's fairly long too so some in the past that I have got have not been this long so I think this is definitely a step up as far as the coat goes that's pretty much it though if you want to recreate this this look or check out anything from the Happy Gentleman site, you can find links to every item I showed here and more at their site, which will be linked down below. Be on the lookout too for the next couple of videos. I'm super excited to jump into those looks with you. And if you have any more suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll see about working those out for you as well. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that and make sure you hit that like button for me. That's a big help to me. I really appreciate that. And as usual, take it easy. I'll see you next time.